Hey, Howie here from Esports Grinder, and today we're going to be reviewing the Forbidden Dance Challenge from week one of season seven. We're going to show you all the locations of the no dancing signs and the areas of the map that you're going to need to get to. And we're also going to review the easiest way to do this challenge. Keep in mind that you don't have to do it all in one session. Uh, they add up collectively, so you just have to dance at five of these locations. And keep in mind also that there's actually 11 locations on the map for you to choose from. So without further ado, let's jump into the video. The first area of the no dancing sign for the challenge is in Junk Junction. This is in the northwest corner and it's directly beside the giant metal llama. It's sort of way out there in the edge of the map, so it's one of those ones that if the bus lands or starts off in the northwest corner, you might want to jump out and go ahead and attack this one. But it's sort of all by itself, but uh, it's the first option for the challenge. Next, we're going to move to the north and center of the map, right in the middle of Lazy Links. And this sign you are going to find right in the little uh, cul-de-sac area in the center of the pond where there's usually a chest that spawns. You'll see the sign in the picture of no dancing. So this is spot number two. The third location is in the northeast corner of the map, just east of Risky Reels and just north of Wailing Woods. You'll notice an ice cream truck and there's a no dancing sign right in front of it. The next location is a little bit north and a little bit west of Wailing Woods, and it's also northeast of Tomato Temple. It's a little bit tricky. It's up on a hill, uh, but you can see in the sign, and you can see in the map in the top right, that it's just a bit northwest of Wailing Woods. The next location is south of Pleasant Park. It's another tricky one to get to because it's up on a mountain, but you can see in the map, it's just north of where the snow starts and directly south of Pleasant Park. The next location is in Loot Lake. It's just on the east island of Loot Lake. You can see in the map, the mini map, uh, it's just a small dirt island. The next location is centered in the map in the northeast corner of Dusty Divot. You can see it's just overlooking the divot and it's just north and east, uh, just a little bit east of the restaurant in Dusty Divot. The next location is just southwest of Dusty and just north of Salty. And you can see it's up on a little bit of a hill here. You can see it's overlooking Dusty Divot. Next is one of two locations in the southwest corner of the map. And this one is just southeast of Frosty Flights. Okay, we're at the second last location. This is in the very southwest corner of the map, right on the tip on a little peninsula. It's due south of Frosty Flights, it's due west of Happily Hamlet, and it's pretty much way out there. I almost forgot to include Tilted Towers. This is dead center, and this is uh, sort of in the middle area where there's a chest that spawns just outside of there. You'll notice it in the map. The next location is southeast of Paradise. It's basically in the southeast corner of the map and it's up on a little bit of a mountain. Uh, fairly easy to get to and there's usually some chests there as well, so it's not a bad landing spot. Our bonus location is the racetrack. You can see it's just in front of the taco stand. There's a no dancing sign right there. So now for our tips to get all your dance off as quickly as possible and uh, my first suggestion would be to ignore the paradise and ignore the two southwest snowy ones and really focus on the two close to Whalen Woods and Risky Reels as well as the Lazy Links, Loot Lake and Dusty Divot. I think all five of those are close enough that you could do it in one or two drops as well as if you're in the central area north of Salty Springs and the one that's just south of Pleasant are also options. Uh, any ones that you, you're going to want to have to land on a mountain are a little bit more tricky because uh, it sort of limits you in playability of that game. So just to reiterate, uh, north of Wailing Woods uh, as well as west of Wailing Woods are the two close in proximity 
dancing spots as well as lazy links um, in the two near Dusty Divot and Loot Lake. There's actually six in there that you should be able to get your dance off pretty quickly and within one or two uh, games you should be able to have this competition completed. If you know of any other locations that I didn't mention or if you have any comments on this video I would appreciate hearing your feedback. Thanks for watching.